So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I have a really nice trick for you in Power Query. If you ever had a source that keep changing the column headers, you know, the name of the column, and you know, if that happens, your refresh will break. I am going to show you today a trick to avoid that. So we will learn how to manage column headers where the name keeps on changing. Stay in tune for this trick. Okay, so first of all, I need to give proper credit to this solution because I found it in this Power BI user group uh, blog post. Uh, um, and I found actually at the end that it was created by Lars. La Lars Shriver, Shriver, <laughs> sorry, I'm saying your name totally wrong, but uh, he's actually the one that worked out the solution. I'm just going to show you. I just used it and I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to show you what he did. I will give you a link to his blog post and there you can download his sample. It's very similar to mine, so you won't get lost. But without any further delay, let's start the uh, the tutorial. Okay, so here's an example. I have a very simple table that has two columns. One column that is called sales and a date, and then another column that is the actual dates for the sale. And as you can see, this column has a header with a date. So the let's say that the, the user likes to update it. Okay, so every time the new sales files come, the header will change with a new date. So what I have done is I actually imported the Excel file into Power BI, nothing strange there. And as you can see, it worked perfectly. And I, now I want to change the header name to sales. I don't want the users to see when the data was imported. It's not interested. Unfortunately, it's on the header name. So I just changed rename the columns. Now, what happens when the header name changes? Let's check that out. So now, as you can see, we have another file and this is not for January, it's sales for February. So the header name changes. Let's do a refresh in Power BI and see what will happen. So we come here, we do refresh preview. It's good if we save the file just so we hit preview and as you can see it says the column name sales 2017-0101 wasn't found so there is an error so what happened as you can see here when we rename the columns it actually took the name of the column and when the name of the column changed then of course we got this error so let's change it back just so you can see how this things work and then we will do another test. So now I change the name again. We do a refresh and then everything is working again. So what we want to do now is to make sure we capture this name in a dynamic way. So here it doesn't say the action name, but it just refers to a column. So how do we do this? We, what we will do is we go to the advanced editor and where to start doing this, we have to do it after the headers have been promoted, right? So the first step is the source, then pick a sheet and then the headers have been promoted. So this is the step where we have to capture the name. We go again to the advanced editor and after promoted headers, we are going to do the following. Dynamic name header, for example. And this is the function table, column names. Now we have to call the step above. We put it in there. And comma. Let's try it out and see what that function does. So here we have the dynamic header name. And as you can see, it gave us a list of the names of our headers, which is great. 
But what we want is to pick the first one. This is, even if it says here one for Power Query, this is zero and this is one. So to pick the name, what we need to do is go back to advanced editor, go in here, and then we have to say that it is the first item on the list that we want to capture. So the first item starts with zero, that would be zero. Let's check it out. So as you can see now, we have a function that refers to the first header of our list. And you can do with all headers, of course. If I will put one here, I will get the second one. Okay, but now is the first one that we want. And now when we go here to change types, as you can see, what this is doing is uh, changing the um, field type. This, so this is date and this is number. And it's referring to the hard-coded one. And we don't want that. What we want now is this one. So we are actually going to change Instead of having the hard-coded one, we are going to have the function that st stores the header name. And we're going to do exactly the same when we are renaming the column. So here we remove that and we put that one. And as you can see, everything is working. So nothing has broken yet at least. <laughs> so now that we have the function, we're going to go back to Excel, change the other name, do a refresh, and hopefully it will work. Let's check that out. Okay, so here we are in Excel. We are going to give this a new name. We save, and now we go back to Power BI. And now that we are here, let's do a refresh and see if it works. Nothing broke. Now, did it change the name? You can actually, if you go back, you can see that the name has changed. So it actually took the new header, but because it's not referring to a hard-coded name, it's actually working. I actually wish that it was the, you know, the way that Power Query would actually read the column names. It's, it's a bit of a pain when that happens. It's quite often that refresh um, schedule refreshes or normal refreshes break just because something changed on the header name. So this is, it's a bit of a pain, but not a big thing. But anyhow, if there is something that you know is happening to your model, now you have a solution. Now you know how to fix it. So this is really good, isn't it? So thank you, Lars. Amazing trick. Okay, so this is all for today. If uh, you liked the video, let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions about the video, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Fridays, we talk always about tax. If you want to receive notifications of my future videos, make sure you click the bell because YouTube does not send you notifications anymore unless you activate them yourself. Okay? So have a great mind day. Bye.